guys. Okay, so a number of you asked me how I made the notebooks that I made for some family members for Christmas. All I will say is that it's night time now. It is like five past six at night and the light's gone. So I really want to start this tonight because the one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do as a giveaway. So I'm quite excited about that. So I will go through again. I've taken everything out because I've lost my measurements, which is really annoying. So I've had to take everything out just to measure off. That's the main thing there. This one was my stepson's, but he's 18. And I said to him, can you please tell me if you're not gonna use it because I will find someone who will have this off me. And um, he quite politely said he wouldn't use it. He's 18, well, I don't know what to expect. So, you know, I just didn't wanna leave him out. So this is probably gonna be a really long video if you want to just grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Because yeah, I don't really make these videos, so I don't know how long this is gonna be. Um, so inside it was some acetate, which I got from Hobbycraft. All these books I made myself, every one of them. And I just put elastic band around there for being able to put more books in. I rounded every corner. Yeah, it was a, a fun day that day when I had to round every corner of about 400 pages. Fun times, uh, but yeah. So I did different colours and stuff in that one and then this one was just like more of a normal a book or book, wherever you come from. These uh, were from Hobbycraft and they come in a set of eight. It says on there, I love you with a little diamante thing there. They were really cute, just something else to add onto. This is just another book with different um, papers in and stuff. It's basically just, you know, you have it by your telephone and if somebody rings, you've not got a pad or anything, it's there. Uh, I put another one in, which was just normal papers and then I made my own folder out of this such cool card. Just, oh my God, it's so, it's just, it's just so. Um, so I will be making one of these as well. Um, another thing I've been doing is, oh, let me tidy this up. I've been making myself another folder. Um, I'll, I'll show you the other one that I've made a bit later. Uh, but I put some hot glue on this yesterday because I needed some cardboard inside it. Just to give it some stability. Not quite sure what I'm gonna use that for, but this was a bag. This cost me 99 pence, and that is just how cool, guys. You know, so I definitely want to use that for something. So that's another project I'm doing. So I'm gonna talk about papers first. These here are bags from when we have a Chinese. This is like, had the chips in it, or the smaller ones have had, I, I like sweet and sour sauce. Um, that's what these are. Just save them, dry them out, and they're just perfect to put in the different papers. This is Christmas wrapping paper. My mum got this wrapping paper and is like, I need this. So, like, opening presents at Christmas was a bit slower than normal because I really wanted to keep this paper. Um, so, yeah, it's gorgeous. Just keep your papers, and it's just something else to put in your notebooks. And then the other day I decided I was going to sit, well not sit down, stand in the kitchen and make 84 sheets of tea stained paper, 84 sheets guys. I saw somebody on YouTube, if I can remember her name I'll put it in the description box and she just did a load all at once, just bung, got the tea, put them in a tray, bunged them all in, left them for 10 minutes, stick them in the oven and you come, you just come out with different coloured papers and listen to the sound. Not being weird or anything, but if anybody's interested in papers, you will love the sound of these papers. Um, if you want me to show you a video of how I made these, let me know in the comment section as well. I mean, look at that, how gorgeous. I mean, that's off white paper. You just can't make this, this crap up sometimes. So yeah, I made 84 of them. So these will be going into the notebook that I'm making today. All I did with this one, I literally got some card like this. I don't know if my camera can go out, that's about it. Um, this card is out of 
some books that you can get from the works and these are literally three pound from the works they charge 10 12 15 quid for these in hobbycraft guys so definitely if you're in the uk go to the works they're double-sided as well so you know not that mind you yeah it does make a difference because you when you're making something like this you're going to see double-sided but because i want to use this this time i'm going to use two bits of card and i'm going to glue them together just to make them a bit more stable because i'm not using the laminator to make them more sturdy so that's what i'm planning on doing so i'm just going to get some measurements off here and as i said i've just got two bits of card it doesn't matter what they look like because you're going to get totally covered anyway i'm going to get me cutter and just cut the length of what this is So that should hopefully line up again it's got the lamination bit around there which I don't want because the, the, the books and stuff are lined up which this is perfect so again I'm just gonna round these edges off because why not <laughs> so this I got from Hobbycraft You know guys while I'm doing this I never thought I would get into stuff like this ever never ever ever I mean it's always been my mum that's been the artsy one in the family never thought I would love making these books as much as I do right so that's done so we've just got to find a nice bit of see they're gonna go that way so it's gonna be folded in half like that so I've got to get something which looks nice outside and in see some bits are upside down anyway so all this was about £1.50 by the way and it, this is doubled up this was from the range if you hear me husband in the background just ignore him as I said this is like just something I wanted to start today and I can't keep asking him to be quiet every five minutes. So, if, okay, let me think. So if I cut that and it's doubled, that's gonna fit both sides, yes. So if I just leave a little bit more extra for edges. As I said, this is the first time I'm doing anything like this. I need a big table, guys, I haven't got one. So I'm just going to cut where I think and then go from there. It was £1.50 and I know where I can get it again so it's not as if it's breaking the bank. Right, so that's what we've got. So if I open it up then that can go inside and then I've got plenty of play with that one and then with the edges I'll just score them down here and just glue them over like that inside and then that'll go over right okay so that's really cute oh my god I'm loving it so I've got this hot glue gun I have used it a couple of times again I got this from Hobbycraft this was about five quid so I'm just going to go around the edges and then turn it over and put it on. Okay, I won't have time to go all the way around, so I just have to lift it up. This stuff is so hot, even though this is card, it just, I can feel it through two layers of card.
I'm going to get my Pritt stick. So let's just stick this down. You'll have to excuse me if you can hear me sniffing, I've still got cold. So that's stuck down there. So I'm going to do the sides first so they come over before this then comes over that to fill that up. Okay, so I'm going to just draw a line where I need to cut this tablecloth stuff because I don't need all this extra. To make life easier, I'm going to cut across here. So that is the outside of the boot done. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh, I'm loving that. That is so nice. I think what I'll do, I'll do this in parts. So I'll do like this is part one of just making the outer bit of the book. Depending on how long this is by the time I fast forwarded bits. And then the second part will be doing the actual books to go inside it and then we'll see where we go from there okay that's going to fit perfect so I'm just going to glue that on there It's not like perfect, but it's better than anything else I've done. Oh, I'm proud of that. So yeah, I will leave this here guys because the next part will be punching holes and doing the string and then making the books. So yeah, I'm going to leave this here as my part one. And that is the outside of the book. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll be back probably tomorrow night or the night after and we will finish the rest of this Traveller's Notebook off. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you for my part two. Bye!